Here we'll look at solving a linear inequality, problem type 3. You'll notice that the difference here is that the variable term has a negative coefficient. So we're going to treat it just the same. However, there is a slight difference. So in your math notebook, of course, you'll want to write down the problem. And we are solving for u. So like usual, we want to get the variable term all by itself. So we're going to have to subtract 22 from both sides. These are going to cancel each other out. And we're left with a negative 6u is greater than a negative 18. Now, we're going to divide by a negative 6 in order to get this u term all by itself like we usually do. However, in an inequality, there's an extra rule that you've got to pay attention to. These are going to cancel each other. We're going to be left with just u. But because we're dividing by a negative coefficient here, this inequality changes directions. So it becomes a less than the answer here. Negative 18 divided by negative 6 is a positive 3. So our final answer is u less than 3. The trick here is to remember that this sign switches anytime we multiply or divide by a negative. Alright, here's a second example. If we look at this problem, negative 25 greater than or equal to 10 minus 7x, our process is the same. We want to isolate this x variable term so we've got to subtract 10 from both sides. Over on this side, we get a negative 35. It's still going to be greater than or equal to. These cancel each other out, and we're left with a negative 7x. Don't lose track of that sign. Remember, signs always go with the term that follows them on the right. So here we are, negative 35 greater than or equal to negative 7x. We've got to divide by a negative 7. Remember, anytime we multiply or divide by a negative in an inequality, it switches that sign. So over here, we get a positive 5 is less than or equal to x. And that makes our final answer. You could also write this as x greater than or equal to 5. That's exactly the same. Notice the inequality sign points to the same number each time. Either answer is correct.